All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about counting combinatorics, counting arrangements, also known as permutations. And you might be taking this in school, or maybe you're just curious to know how to count arrangements of things. Well, let's talk about five. So we'll sort of use a specific example. So n is five. We'll talk about five people. So imagine you're going to take pictures of people and you're going to put them in a line of five. So there's five people and you have to make some choices, right? So if you're going to place somebody here, there's five possible ways that you could place somebody there. And it doesn't matter if I start here or there. It doesn't really matter where you initialize it. Then there's four left over for the next and three and then two and then one. And then there's this little thing called the fundamental counting principle. If I multiply all these together, I actually get the total number of ways that I can arrange these people. And so that's actually also known as five factorial. Okay, so there's a little function on your calculator called factorial factor times, and it just starts to multiply the number that's indicated all the way down to one. And that's gonna give us 120. So there's 120 different ways to arrange five people in a line, in a row. We're gonna change this up in a minute and talk about going around in a circle. Okay, what happens if you have those same people, but Sally and you, it's a couple in that five, want to sit together? So one, two, three, four, five. They just met, they're really in love and they wanna to sit together. So let's just take those as one sort of object, right? Because they have to travel together as you permute these or arrange them. So now it's one, two, three, four. So there's four ways to arrange. So four factorial, one, two, three, four. But remember within this little love bubble, there's two ways that they could sit, okay? So it could be Sally, you, or you, Sally. So there's two factorial ways to arrange the love couple. And by the fundamental counting principle, just like we used up here, we multiply those together. And when I times those together, I get 48. So there's 48 arrangements that of this original 120, whereby Sally and you are together as a couple. So the next question is kind of easy now, because if it says, how many ways would they sit apart? That can get really difficult, right? But if you use the complement by simply taking the total number of ways that five people can be seated in a line and subtract those for which they are together, the difference has to be those where they're not together. So if I subtract 48 from that, I get a total of 72. So there's 72 ways that Sally and you would not be together on a line when there's five people. All right, let's take a look at a couple of other cases where let's say Sally and you want to sit together, which we already saw that, but let's say that Mike and Jenny also want to sit together. So of the five people, one, two, three, four, five, Sally and you want to be together, and so does Mike and Jenny. So now you're thinking about one, two, three objects. So that's going to be three factorial, but remember, you've got two love bubbles now. So within those two love bubbles, for Jenny and you, there's two factorial ways that you can arrange those two people. There's also two factorial ways to arrange uh, Mike and Jenny. And again, by the fundamental counting principle, I multiply those together. So three, that's three times two times one, times two times one, times two times one. The ones don't really count too much. So three times two is six, times two is 12, times two is 24. So there's 24 ways that those two couples could sit together in a group of five on a line in a row. Let's take a look at a case where Sally and you sit on opposite ends. So one, two, three, four, five. So now Sally or you has to be here. So this could be a Sally or a you, okay? So in other words, there's two possibilities for that location. And that means there's only one possibility for this. Do you see? So Sally is here or here. If she's here, you is here and vice versa. And then within here, you take the remaining three people and you just arrange them as three objects, three factorial. So we have the three factorial for the non-couple. And then we have Sally and you. That's gonna be multiplied by two factorial so in this case, you're gonna have three times two times one, times two times one, three times two is six, times two is 12. 
All right, so now let's take the case where we still have five people, five objects, five people, but we're gonna seat them in a circle. So one, two, three, four, five. So they're seat seated around a circle. And there's no other conditions. We just wanna know how many ways could we arrange five people to sit in a circle, maybe in a park somewhere. Well, the issue here is, is it's not actually five factorial like it would be if they were in a line because a line has a, div has, a, has a specific beginning and a specific end. There's no beginning or end to a circle. So what we do is we get clever and we fix one of the people. We say, okay, you're gonna stay there. That's where the, re that's where the beginning is. There's no real beginning. And then we permute or arrange the other four around that person, do you see? So if there's five people, we actually subtract one, that one person who becomes the fixed object, and then we factorialize the, the, that number. So it becomes four factorial, which again is four times three times two times one. Four times three is 12, times two is 24. Okay, well again, let's get back to Sally and you. Say it's the same people, they wanna sit together. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, again, you could just take Sally and you and make them the fixed object if you want to. So now one, two, three. Now there's three remaining objects. I hate to say objects about people, but three remaining people if you take Sally and you out of it. So there's three factorial ways to arrange or permute the remaining three. But don't forget, now that we have a love bubble again of two, there's two factorial ways to arrange Sally and you by the fundamental counting principle, I multiply those together. So that's three times two times two, just taking out the ones, which is gonna be 12. All right, hopefully that helped. And uh, if you liked the video and you want more counting questions, I've got lots of ideas and lots of thoughts. Um, slap a like on this video and I'll use that as an indication that you want more permutations, combinations in your life and I'll make more videos. Have a wonderful day.